Back at Daytona under caution. You've been watching at home and you see that's Jordan Anderson obviously uncomfortable but waving to the crowd. He took a big hit. Eleven different trucks involved in that incident. He's going to bypass the stretcher. And there's Brett Moffat, the defending series champion, one of those involved. And boy, what a tough night for Moffat. Was penalized a couple of times tonight. The 51 of Christian Eckes, our pole winner. Johnny Sauter, who has been out front for nearly a dozen laps tonight, heavily involved. So many of the real good trucks in this race. Let's take a look here. The two of Creed right there in the middle and. It looked like, like Jordan Anderson had some sort of an issue and slowed it looked like. Well, you and know, then Creed ran in the back of him. Not sure Sheldon Creed had anywhere to go. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan looks, I don't, looked like the left front tire looked a little funny on that truck. Possibly maybe a left front tire going down. You know, Phil, he was running, Jordan was in the fifth position when they entered turn one and two. We were on board the truck behind him, and there were sparks coming from behind the truck. I think maybe Jordan felt something was going wrong and pulled up. I don't know. Maybe trying to get out of the way. Moffitt, Sauter, Snyder, Gus Dean, Jordan Anderson, of course, Sheldon Creed, Grant Enfinger, Stuart Friesen, Austin Wayne Self, Brennan Poole, Christian Eckes, all with varying degrees of damage. I just don't think Jordan realized that the two of Creed was inside of him as much as he was. Came down a bit. Angela Ruck's just doing a great job really running is. up inside the top five. We're going to hop on board with her and watch all this materialize. There's Jordan when he went up. She filled that hole and then looked behind her. Yeah. Behind you. Behind you. Caution. For Brett Moffitt's view. Brett Moffitt got hung in the outside. No, nowhere to go really for all these trucks once the contact was made with the three of Jordan Anderson. I just think Jordan tried to maybe close a hole that Sheldon Creed had already occupied and racing inches apart. Certainly understand how easily that, ha that can happen. Thank goodness for those safer barriers. Took the words right out of my mouth. Phil, I yeah. started to say the exact same thing because Jordan Anderson just pounded that outside wall at a and, bad angle. And. What a nice job Matt Crafton does. He's going to take a hard left here when he sees this. Jerry and fire back up. Come on, come on, come on. Watch the slide across you. Watch this too. Hammer down right here. Now watch pit road. Watch pit road. Slow it down. Slow it down. Pit road speed. Okay. And when you were riding along with Matt Crafton, did you see that gap that he had in front of him? He was expecting issues and they happened. But I was more interested in Jordan Anderson and what made him move to the outside. We saw him running in the top five right on the bottom of the racetrack and he moved up down in turns one and two seemingly for no reason. And we saw those sparks so I, I, I wonder where those sparks came from too, Michael. There you see the there blue truck right there. Anderson on the back. There's big sparks. We Something, haven't seen that out of the truck. Something's bottoming it out more so than it had been. He's a little, you see the gap in front of them now, so he's already has slowed a bit. But he gets a big push down the back and then pulls out of line. And when he did so, that's when problems began. Watch the two of Creed. We'll get to that back bumper of the three of Anderson right here. Even more sparks now than he had before. Something seemingly was going wrong with the three truck. Now that doesn't excuse him from cutting off Creed and, and, and getting in this big crash, but we haven't seen this out of that truck yet. That's hard bottoming out. But despite that, when he got on the straightaway, he had this big push from Angela Ruck and was able to drive around the trucks on the outside, Sheldon Creed. And then that caused the issue when they got to turn three. Yeah, that was turn one and two right there when they were side by side. Jordan Anderson and Sheldon Creed. And there you see the 11 drivers involved in this incident. Jordan Anderson, by the way, we saw him holding his shoulder. He had off-season shoulder surgery. So it was uh, certainly looked to be in a fair amount of discomfort, but it was good to see him waving to the crowd and walking to the ambulance. 
Wow. Wow is all you can say, Vince. Crazy night at Daytona, and the defending series champion, Brett Moffitt, you ride with him here. He's done for the night.